All right, this new job, loaded the first round already. She had a good road system through it, good rock on it too, good and solid also, looks like. I would imagine there's probably a good bit of traffic on it throughout the year for it to be packed this well like it is. The wood's starting out, it's kind of so-so right now. Maybe it'll pick up, getting a lot of pine pulp wood, that's a whole pile of pulp, and then some double bunk stuff. The chipping saw stuff's kind of short. Diameter's not real good on it yet either. It's, it's kind of thick on the ground, but I'm not sure that the size is gonna pick up on it, which will be fine, at least we're working though. We're talking about three to five inches of rain coming in tonight, which is, this is a uh, New Year's Day, January 1st. I'm not sure when y'all gonna watch this video because I'm just gonna take off. This video will come up after I've taken off a little bit of time from posting. I posted like, I don't know, 16, 1700 videos, something like that. And uh, since 2014, so five years, need me a few days off. Do some of the poles here. They're not coming, they're not getting them very consistently because the stuff's pretty short here. They gotta be, they gotta make sure they make them long enough there to make it. So a lot of them are not making that length requirement. All right, I'm gonna get back up in my loader. Lunch time. So we ended up with a good day today on Monday. I didn't film anything, which y'all seen filmed earlier was when I told you on New Year's. I've got a Browning bar right there that I bought new in 1988. Saved up my money. And uh, it's a 270 good gun i love it because it's light i hadn't hunted with it in a pretty good while but uh, i got it out saturday and i shot it i didn't have any didn't have any quality bullets to shoot through it i had some core locks that were uh golly i probably bought them probably about 1990 or something like that and they were all over the paper. Matter of fact, one of the one of the bullets, the primer burned, the side of the primer burned out when I fired it. And man, that thing blows smoke all out the side of the chamber and carrying on. So we're going I've got some good stuff. We're gonna we're finna fire through it and see what she'll do. So I just stapled the target up. Right there on it. And we're gonna back up here to my pole barn. off a bit or out from under it in the end. Man they were talking about us. We hear the dogs they're walking out. Talking about us getting massive rain again uh it's coming Friday man and dang it if I remember right, I never could get core locks to shoot out of that thing, which those are just cheap. Matter of fact, the price on the box of bullets was $13. That's how old them things were. <laughs> so we're going to fire off. You can see this is 100 yards from here down there. So let me grab this rifle. So while I'm letting my heart rate calm down a little bit here before I load it up, uh, <laughs> I've killed a lot of deer with this gun. I took it and I had the stock cut off on it. It's got a uh, Pacmire pad on it now because they don't come with any pad on them at all. And I had some trigger work done on it too. And right after I had the trigger work done on it, I was going to shoot a uh, doe one day, not far right over here. 
and this was this has been this has been in the mid 90s probably mm, i don't know 96 95 96 something like that but they got the trigger too light on it when they did it and i actually had a fully automatic so when i shot it it shot it didn't unload the magazine on me because i got my finger off the trigger real quick but it shot several times and uh i wasn't I, I was not expecting that at all when i when it did it but and so i took it back got it and got them to fix it for me real quick but this is a, a old school loophole it's a very x2 this is one of the old ones here let's see what is this thing it's a three by nine very x2 is what it is all right so my heart's about settled down and uh we're gonna smoke her off here. It's a fired one. Dang, that dude's hot. I can't tell where it hit. It's a little bit dim. Right now here, and see right quick. So y'all check this out. That's not too bad. So I like to aim at the squares. I was actually aiming at this square right there. Is the one I was aiming at. And dang, if I didn't hit the freaking thing. I wasn't expecting that because it was uh that's just one shot i'm gonna fire another one because man it was all it was it was it was like two to three inches of variance between each shot i'd say all over the paper but a good two to three inches every time i shot it but we're going to shoot it one more time here and see what she does i'm gonna just uh just to check and see where it's uh confirm that that is what it is doing right there Hmm. Okay, good. Okay, so the game plan is I'm gonna shoot it one more time. I'm not gonna touch the scope right there where it's at. I'm gonna fire it one more time. If it hits the same spot, then then we're gonna adjust it. I like to be an inch and a half high at 100 yards, and we'll move it over a little bit. Of course, it may hit more to the left this this next time. But we'll uh we'll see. I will if it hits in that same uh, left uh, up and down. I'm gonna go up with it a little bit there. But let's see what she does. We're going to do some uh, after hour shooting down there now. You see I've got a light. There's a, uh, that's one of my Milwaukee lights. Got the target lit down there. It'll focus. You see it right there pretty good. But anyhow, I've had to do this uh, quite a lot in the dark. I mean, the days, it, the days are so short and it gets dark so quick in the wintertime. Hey, you put a light down there on it, you can see it real good to shoot. So we're going to hone her on in here now. I'm, all, I'm fixing to adjust the scope now. Okay. So we about got her. I'm going to fire her one more time. Let me see if y'all can see what I see when I look through that scope. Uh oh Let's see. Get it. There you go. Look at there. Hang on. Let me move it up a little bit closer. So you can see the target. Good. There it is right there. So that's what I'm looking at. And I've done it with vehicle lights, all kind, man, all kinds of stuff, having to do it like this in the dark. <laughs> My neighbors probably hate me, which I don't really have anybody that lives right here next to me. And of course, I've got a massive backstop that I'm shooting in. It's got wings on both sides of it. And it's legal for us to do this here in the county. You can shoot all night long like this and gang okay, ain't nothing they can do about it. And neighbors can anyhow. So let me fire one more time. So while I was wrapping up my shooting a while ago, my back light quit working again on the back. And I tell you what, when you've got that thing and you're used to it, using it, you, you just about got to have it. So I pulled it in here, started tearing into it, checking it again. The last time I done it, I moved to, I checked the back of the switch. It's got a... Uh, just a pop-in switch right there, toggle switch that lights right there. This is for the front light bar right there, and that's for the rear light. Green and blue. It was dead. I pulled the switch out. I checked it with the test light. And lo and behold, we wasn't getting any power. Here's the bus bar right here. And I'll show you what it was. This is the this is the power wire, the power in the ground that feeds the switch right there. And then this is the wire 
the ground and then the hot wire that goes to the light. And so when you flip the switch, it completes the circuit and sends power down this white wire up to the light right there. So this is the uh, hot that fed the power to the switch right there. And you see how big that thing was right there. I guess they uh, intend, the company that makes these intends for them to probably go on the battery probably more than likely. And they're, in their defense, they're not expecting them to probably go on this bus bar because they ain't no telling what all they built them for. But anyhow, uh, there was, of course, when you checked it right here on this side of the eye, it was hot. But when you probed it over here, it wasn't getting any power. So you can see where it's black in there and has done... It's obviously not making any connection there. And the other thing is, too, when I pulled the switch out and was messing with it, one of the connectors was not crimped very well at all, and the wire pulled right out of it. So I went over to my wire box, got uh, some more connectors and everything. I cut this one out, stripped it, put one in there uh, to, to put on there to get by with, and then I uh, crimped a new end on the... Uh, on the switch too so now let me set this down right here now all is good in cotton top three world cotton top threes world i gotta put a sticker on here too as far as my lights go so see it right there there's one thing about these lights. This is a more expensive light, and of course, this one up here, they're they're um, it costs a little bit too. But I've noticed something on these lights right here. If you buy these, if you buy the cheaper ones, uh, like the ones that are Harbor Freight or the ones that are on Amazon, you can get really cheap. They won't keep the moisture out. Those that they put on the front of my truck on my um, front bumper up there that's squared up built. They've already got water in them, and uh, but these right here will not get water in them. You can see, but they cost a good bit more though. But I checked everything. That's just kind of stuff that's kind of that can kind of get on your nerves a little bit because you gotta spend time to troubleshoot it. You know, you got to check this, you check that, and he, he starts saying, well, okay, I, I, I've got power here, but I don't have power there, and you just kind of got to cipher your way through it to figure it all out. But I got it figured out, and uh, all that. So, still very happy with the with the Ranger. Uh, I like it a lot, a whole, whole lot. And uh wish now I'd have got one long long time ago so today's been kind of a crazy video all kinds of junk in it but all this stuff except for what you've seen at the very first the video everything happened today like six up for was it very very first of it that happened last wednesday on january the first so uh i gotta go out here and feed the old dogs real quick gotta get that done would have fed them but jill had uh supper ready and i was dealing with this too so go out and go out there and feed them and get them situated so uh we will catch y'all later later taters